Welcome back to the House of Floss and Fluff. My name is Carrie. Thank you guys for joining me for my 12th Floss Tube video. Today is Sunday, December 10th, and I'm here with a lot to show you guys. I know I missed uh, a week last week, so lots of stuff to show you guys today. I have a really, really big finish that I'm very excited about. So before we get started in that, I just wanted to share real quick, um, I know I've talked about my Etsy shop before, and I have slowly been adding some cross-stitch type stuff, um, some needle minders and scissor fobs, and I wanted to let everybody know out there that I am running a holiday sale until December 12th. So, if you are interested in anything in my Etsy shop, right now is a really good time because 15% um, off, no coupon codes necessary, it's all just in my shop, you're all set to go. So, I just wanted to show real quick, this is one of the needle minders that is currently available if my camera will focus, but it's a really cute little cupcake with a little gingerbread man on top. This is one of my favorites. I just think he's adorable. And then like I said, I have scissor fobs too, and this one is one of, again, one of my favorites because it's the color blue. You guys all know how much I love blue. And it's got this cute little charm on the bottom that says live. And so, very pretty. So like I said, now is a really good time. Um, I'll put a link to my Etsy shop below. It's um, Curious Carry. Just type that into Etsy and you should be able to find it. But I'll put a link to that below. Okay, so let's get started. Because like I said, a lot of stuff to show you guys and a big finish that I'm very, very excited about. So if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that the big project that I've been working on is the snowman window. And it is done. Totally done. It is in its frame, completely finished, and there you go. So I love it. I think it came out absolutely adorable. Better than I hoped, <laughs> I think. I think it came out better than I thought it was going to. So like I said, if you've watched any of my previous videos, um, I, had, I had stitched all of the top. You guys have seen the top uh, in previous videos. And so I did add, there were beads charted in this one, and this window, this little snowman is from the 2016 Just Cross Stitch Ornament issue. This is called Blue Snowman, and it has beading in it here. Now, I don't do a lot of beading. Um, this is, I think, only the third project that I've actually done beads on. And so um, these are not the called for beads, they're just beads that I had. and. I actually didn't even open, <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't even open the magazine to see where they're supposed to be placed. I just put them where I randomly in where I thought they looked good. And I'm happy with it. <laughs> so then the middle one, the middle window here, this one is from the same 2016 Just Cross Stitch ornament issue. It's called Snow. And it had little buttons that went into the center of the O's. And so I got that done too. And then this one is um, the Lizzie Kate Tiny Tinings 19. He's called Snowbird. He was supposed to have little beads that go in the center of these snowflakes, but I decided not to add them for this one. I think I'm going to stitch this one again as an ornament, and I'm, I'll put the little beads in there. But I did add a little bit of snow, extra snowflakes around him, just to make him look a little bit fuller in his window because he's um, looking at the whole window he's the smallest motif so I just wanted to make him look a little bit a little bit bigger in the window okay so then going on the bottom like I said now these ones I haven't shown in any of my previous videos um, they are on my Instagram so if you follow me on Instagram you'll, you'll have seen me as I've stitched them but this one is called hats off and it is from the 2017 Just Cross Stitch um, ornament issue. And I did make some changes to this one. So, so that's how that's how I that's how I finished him. <laughs> I'll show you guys real quick. Hold on, lots of stuff here. Okay. So this is how he's charted in the magazine. And he's charted in Weeks Dye Works threads, which I did not use. Um, I used a DMC conversion, and then I used a few hand-dyed threads that I had. Um, so 
his scarf is just a variegated blue thread and then um, his arm is done in gingerbread by um, Gentle Arts and let's see the gold color here is a color in cotton uh, this is golden mum this was from the October floss of the month and the green is called elf and that is from the November floss of the month and so I like I, said, I changed him up a little bit I changed the border because you guys know I don't I don't care to do borders that much um, and so I had originally thought I would just leave off the whole border but I didn't you know I forgot to think I, well, I didn't think about it uh, obviously snowman stitched into a square border you're gonna have a square snowman so <laughs> I mean, I could have, you know, I could have added some extra white stitches to him, but I just went ahead and did a border, a little half of a border, and then put the snowflakes around him. And the reason I wanted, I wanted to add the snowflakes in, because that's kind of the one thing that ties the whole piece together. Every window has snowflakes in it somewhere. Okay, and then he's also charted with um, French knots for his eyes and his mouth. And there's some um, holly berries here. Those were all supposed to be French knots. I went ahead and just did them um, with beads. Because I know I've mentioned before I hate French knots. So <laughs> beads are a fun alternative. Okay. So then the center window, this one here, I had originally ha picked a different pattern to do in this one. Um, I'll show you that real quick. So this right here was actually the pattern I had originally picked to go in that center window. And it's an adorable pattern. It is, it's so cute. Okay, but this one, the hats off one, gave me fits. Um, I had a miscount in it that I had to rip out and restitch, and um, my personal being very critical of my stitching, that I I can be that way um, to myself a lot. Um, I think I ended up I ripped out a row in in him in the snowman part here three or four times because the white wasn't laying right. Till I finally got in my own head and was like, listen, if you don't leave it, you are never going to get this done. And so I finally just left it. But anyway. So I like I said, this one was giving me fits, and so I looked at the pattern for this guy right here and he had like triple the colors um, that I used that any of the other patterns had used. There was a lot of shading, there was a lot of back stitching and I was just like no <laughs> I don't, I don't want to do all of that. So I went on in search of another pattern and I came across a, a Russian blog and she has so many cute patterns, and they're up for free. They're absolutely adorable. And so I'm not going to try and pronounce her name because I will totally butcher it. But what I'll do is, of course, I will put a link to her blog. And I've just named him um, Snowman and Sheep. And so I will put a link then to where I found him. Um, and she, you know, she gives, obviously, she gives colors, recommended colors to use. I, um... I just went ahead and picked my own colors because I wanted to use some hand dyes in here. And so the red, the red color is one that I dyed myself. And then the blue, I don't know if you can see the blue. Um, the blue highlights there on the hat and the sheep's eye, that is color and cotton, um, cotton candy. And then the two browns, the darker brown is the same brown that I used here. So that's the gingerbread by Gentle Arts. And then the lighter brown is Ginger Cake, and that is from the November Color and Cotton Floss of the Month. And so, but I absolutely love him. He's my favorite. I think he's my favorite block. Okay, <clears throat> and so then this last one here, this is Snow Buddies, and this is from the 2016 Just Cross Stitch Ornament Issue. And I did make some changes to him too, so just give me one second and I will... I thought I was really, really prepared today. Apparently not. <laughs> okay, just one second and I'll show you guys what he looks like if you stitch them as charted. Okay, here we go. 
So this is what they look like if they're stitched as charted. Um, they use whisper thread, and I didn't have any whisper thread, so I just went ahead and, you know, used just regular DMC. Oh, and they also, they charted theirs with patterns, stitched patterns in the vests. And so I didn't feel like doing that. I thought I was being clever. And I'm like, I'll just use variegated thread and get a pattern. And then I don't have to actually stitch it. And it'll take less time. It didn't really work. But anyway, it worked for this one, for the green one, because I just stitched that like normal. Um, the red one, not so much. I decided to try something different and stitch that, stitch it um, horizontally. So I worked from the top down. And I just did a row that way. Um, didn't go much quicker, but it came out really cute. And then I will say this one has so many counting errors in it. I couldn't even begin to tell you, but it looks fine. I think it looks fine. <laughs> I know that I know where the counting errors are, obviously, but no, I don't think anybody else just looking at it hanging on my wall would be able to tell. But it's done. I love it. It's, like I said, the minute that we had it put in the frame, I had it hung on the wall. So, <laughs> I absolutely love it. And I'm going to be stitching, um, I have plans to stitch one for Halloween. And then after we finished it, my husband looked at me and he's like, you know, you should stitch one of those for your aunt next year for Christmas and do birds. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stitch another one of these for my aunt. And each window is going to have a different bird in it because she loves birds. So, so super happy, super, super happy with how that came out. Oh, I suppose if you want to see the back, <laughs> it's not, not anything special. It's just tacked in here with upholstery tacks. So, so yay, that's done. And I did have one other FFO. So this one is actually a piece that I stitched last year. In fact, it was um, the last piece that I stitched last year. I finished the stitching on December 30th at like 10 o'clock at night. And this is for my son. This is um, the shiny Eevee Evolution, which is Pokemon. I don't know anything about Pokemon, but my son loves it. Um, I will say all of the characters were really, really fun to stitch. They were there. I love the colors, super bright colors, super fun. This pattern is from 8-Bit Stitching on Etsy. And of course, I'll put links to everybody below. This is just a 10-inch hoop that I've put it in. Really cute. And I do want to show the paint. I don't know if it'll pick it up. But it is a brand new paint from Folk Art. It's color shifting paint. And it actually shifts from a blue to a purple. And I don't know if it's going to do it. <laughs> kind of. You can tell a little bit up here. But it is really cool. Really cool. I'm always on the lookout for new paints. So, so this is my other FFO. My son's super happy. So now I can, I can go hang this in his room. Okay. So with the snow my window done, I was actually able to move on to some other projects. So Fuzzy Fox Design is doing a stitch along that I've talked about. Um, called Prickly But Cute. It's all different cactus designs. And so she released the new cactus on December 2nd. And I finished the snowman window on December 3rd and then immediately bought the pattern and went into it. And so this is the new cactus. And his name, she names all of the cactus. So his name is Gabriel and he is a Christmas cactus. Isn't he cute? He, I think, I think he's my favorite so far. Of course, I might be a little partial because he's named, he has, he shares a name with my husband. So I will never forget his name. <laughs> um, and then the only thing missing, there are uh, little yellow beads that go wherever there's a, a black line, there will be yellow beads put in there. But he's, yeah, he's adorable. And so here is, this is the whole, the whole piece. And yes, I am woefully behind on the border. <laughs> I'll get caught up. I will get caught up. But so there we go. So love that. Love that. Having super fun, super fun working on that one. I always look forward to the new month because a new cactus is going to be released. Okay. 
So then I do have one new start. Um, so I don't normally stitch gifts that often. Um, I've stitched a few here and there. And I've stitched a few for some family members. Um, anyway, so I was thinking about it and I was like, you know, I've never stitched anything for my grandma, which is kind of a shame because my grandma actually is a needle worker. Or she was before her arthritis got too bad. So I was going to show you guys. I found a few pieces because my grandma does, um, she used to do needlepoint. Hold on, I'm taking it out of the plastic. Didn't think to do that before the video. <laughs> but, oh, hold on, lots of tape. So, she did a couple things for my son for his nursery. And so, like I said, she did needlepoint, and so this is one that she did. My son um, had a Winnie the Pooh themed nursery. And so, isn't that pretty? I love that. So, like I said, this is my grandma that did these. And then she made this really cool. It's a... It's a... Um, Measuring to measure height, but it's Winnie the Pooh. So how cute is that? So like I said, she did these for my son. I love Eeyore. <laughs> so like I said, I've never stitched anything for her. So I was like, you know what? This Christmas, I am I am going to stitch uh, an ornament for her. So I went through my ornament magazine and I picked out this one. Okay. And that is called, hold on, it is A Savior Has Been Born, and it's by My Big Toe Designs, and this is from the 2017 Just Cross Stitch Ornament Issue. And so, there is my start, and I'm not using any of the called for threads, these are just uh, hand dyes that I have. Some I dyed, some are color and cotton, um, gentle arts, whatever I had on hand. I just went ahead and used. And then this is just a piece of coffee dyed fab, 14 count Ada that I had. So, so yeah, I think that's going to be really pretty. And there are some, there are some greens and reds that are going to come in here. Um, so it's not going to all be brown. <laughs> it won't be all brown and gold. So. so I'm really excited to get that one done and stitched up for my grandma. So that was it for cross stitch. All right. So I have a few purchases that I want to show you, and then I have something really fun that I started working, uh, something new that I started doing. Okay, so first thing that I purchased was, um, I've been kind of stalking <laughs> Jen's um, Stitching Niche, her shop on Etsy, and I happened to catch it when she added a new clothesline piece. So of course, I had to buy it. <laughs> And another one just, you know, kind of tagged along with me, with it. So, I got Vlad's Wash Day, which I know if you watch um, Michelle Bendy Stitchy, you've seen this one. It's so cool. I just love it. Love it. And then the new one that Jen had added that I absolutely had to have was um, Sam Socks Shorts and Such. And it's Uncle Sam. Oh, yeah. Had to have that. Had to. Isn't that cute? So cute. And then Jen, very nice, very nice, sent me another, she sent another um, Gentle Arts um, limited edition thread. This is Juniper. How pretty, how pretty is that? Can't wait to use that. Okay, so with the clothesline pieces in mind, I have been thinking of a way to display them. And I came up with this idea, and I, I found one. So I thought, okay, clothesline design, how cool would it be to display it on a vintage washboard? And we have an antique store in my town, which I didn't even know about until like a couple months ago. So we went down there, and I was like, oh, I saw this one, I was like, ooh, definitely, I want that. Now I was hoping that the metal was going to be magnetic, but it's not, which is Fine. I can put, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put, I'm going to do like what Priscilla does and just put a magnetic piece on here. So then that way I can attach them with magnets so that I can just switch them out. That way I don't need to buy, what, six washboards. <laughs> I don't have to have six washboards. 
So I am going to make, like I said, I'm going to do magnets so that way I can just uh, switch them out for the seasons. But isn't that cool? Really cool. So yeah, I'm excited to, I'm excited to stitch those now. Um, I'm not sure, I, I didn't, yeah, silly me did not measure before I went in and bought it. So who knows, I may be stitching one over one on 28 count to make sure that they fit, but we're going to make sure they fit. I don't care. I don't care what I have to do, they're going to fit. Okay, so then I had mentioned that I started working on something new. And this is thanks I have been enabled or encouraged by a couple other floss tubers that I watch, um, Vana, the Twisted Stitcher, and Kathleen from Kathleen's Trot and Trail. They both do punch needle. And they showed a few of their pieces, and I was like, oh, wow, that, that is really cool. Well, then I was watching um, Jennifer, Jennifer Upton, and um, Michelle, Fendi Stitchy, and Teresa, Kitten Stitcher, had all mentioned the Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. I had never heard of the magazine. So, of course, after so many people had mentioned it, and I believe, oh, Danielle Stitcherista did a flip through of the winter issue. So, after watching all of this, I, of course, ran and bought a subscription. <laughs> I have a digital subscription. So I'm going through the magazine and I was like, there are so many cute punch needle patterns. I have to try this. So I went out and got stuff to do punch needle. So I've got my, I got my needles. And what I did is I started with a kit and it came with a pattern. It came with one of the cameo. I, I have the cameo ultra punch. It came with one of these and a small sized needle. And then it came with a hoop, and it came with a piece of the weaver's cloth, which weaver's cloth is what you punch needle on. And so this was the pattern. And this is by um, Myrtle Grace Motifs on Etsy. And I went ahead and jumped right in and, and did it. And finished him. Now he is so far from perfect, but I don't care. I love it. And this is just a very, very basic finishing. I didn't do anything fancy. It's just a couple pieces of felt. Um, and in fact, I mean, yeah, I, I pulled this too tight here and you know, it's okay though. For my first, first, first piece, I am super happy with it. And I'm going to put a little, I'm going to punch a little couple holes in here and I'll put, um, a little hanger on it so that it can hang up as a Christmas ornament. So, super cute. So then I got another pattern from the same place, the Grace, the Myrtle Grace motifs, and that would be this. You guys know how much I love snowmen. And this one is punched all in um, Weeks Dye Works. So I don't know if I'll punch it in Weeks Dye Works, but I'll, I'm, I, I really like the variegation, so I'll probably figure out some, some sort of way to do a hand-dyed or variegated thread. So then, once I finish that one... I pulled out my cross stitch and needlework magazine because they had punch needle in this magazine and this was um, the January 2011 issue and I decided to try my hand at doing this one and I finished it now this one again I tried a lot of different things um, there's a lot of different you know um, ways to do punch needle in terms of the amount of thread you use, the needle size, um, how exactly you, you do the punch needle. And so this one I just tried a whole bunch of different techniques on it. So it's kind of, it's a little wonky looking, <laughs> I think, but I love it. Um, I'm not sure quite how I'm going to finish this one yet, but so yeah, love that. So lots of fun, lots of fun, except I will say this one was a little bit of a pain because I discovered that my, medi my medium size punch needle, because you have different, there's four different sizes, extra small, small, medium, and large. And that all depends on the number of strands that you want to use. Um, anyway, so I used my medium one for the tree and everything and discovered it had a burr in it or there's something with this needle and it kept breaking on me. My thread would break. So I'd get like five punches and my thread would break and I'd have to, you know, but it was a good learning process. Um, 
being frustrated, but I just, I kept with it. I wouldn't give up. So that's, I think that's good. <laughs> so lastly, I have started one last punch needle project. This is from Doodle Dog Designs on Etsy. And it's three snowmen. I'm going to try to make them into pillows. Um, and so I started with this one right here, the, the star one. And sorry, I, yeah, I know. I printed it out in black and white. So this is my where I am now on him. So I'm just about done. I just got to fill in a little bit here and just a little bit here. And then he's going to get over dyed in coffee. And like I said, I'm going to try and make him into a little pillow. So, but I will say the Doodle Dog Designs, they have a, a blog and she walks you through the tutorials on how to stitch these into pillows and stuff. Um, the directions in the pattern call for you to do it on a sewing machine, which that is my goal for 2018. I'm going to learn how to use my sewing machine. <laughs> But on her blog, she shows how to do it by hand. Um, not necessarily this pattern, but with something very similar. So I think um, it's just a whip stitch. So I think I'll be able to do it. So we're going to give it a try. But so I'm having a lot of fun with punch needle. It's really, it's really fun. It is. It's, it's a lot of fun. And it goes a little bit quicker than cross stitch. And so I've been really, really enjoying it. So I think that's everything, you guys. I think that's everything. But... Okay, so I do have a special guest that is going to join me here at the end of my video because I was talking to Michelle Bendy Stitchy and they we had gotten talking about dogs and she had shown some interest in a Newfoundland and I know I've mentioned it before but she's never been on camera. We have a 10 month old Newfoundland puppy named Lucy. So I promised Michelle that I would take a little bit of video with the Newfie puppy. So I'm going to um, I'm going to do that here at the end of my video. So basically if you're not interested in seeing the Newfie puppy, and I totally understand that, you guys have gotten to see all of my stitching and I thank you so much for joining me. Um, I've loved all the comments, the subscribers, you guys are amazing. So like I said, if you're not interested in seeing the Newfie puppy, totally get it. You know, you can just click off right here and I will see you hopefully next week hopefully <laughs> um, but if you're interested in the Newfie puppy I'm going to sign off for just you know for you guys it'll be like a second um, for me it'll be a couple minutes and I will do a little short video of Lucy so I will see you guys in just a minute okay <laughs> bye so like I said Michelle Bendy Stitchy had asked to see <laughs> Lucy <laughs> And so this is Lucy. This is our 10 month old Newfie puppy. And she's a giant goofball. <laughs> As you can see, she's a giant goofball. She likes her tummy rubbed a lot. A lot. Yeah, don't you? Yeah. So she is, we had her weighed a couple weeks ago. We take her to the vets every now and then just to get her weighed. She weighed in at 116 pounds. Like I said, she's 10 months old. So she's not she's not full grown yet, but she's she's pretty close. <laughs> pretty close. Yeah. Yes. And she's being she just woke up from a nap, so she's being kind of goofy right now. <laughs> yeah. And she's always gotta be in your face. <laughs> Don't you? Where are you going? <laughs> Always goes by daddy. She's daddy's girl. And excuse, don't mind the mess. <laughs> we are we are getting ready for Christmas, and so the house is kind of a disaster right now. But so yeah, she's daddy's girl. Even though she was bought for me, she is daddy's girl. <laughs> so right, Lucy, can you come here. Here, Lucy here. Lucy here. Good girl. Oh. Right in the face. Right in the face. <laughs> okay, can you sit? Sit. Sit. Oh, jeez. She knows basic commands, but... <laughs> Apparently not for this. Hey. Here. Who's a giant goofball? Hey, come here. Who's a giant goofball? Giant goofball. Yeah. 
So there you go. That is Lucy. So I hope you enjoyed seeing a short little video of Lucy. Like I said, she is a giant goofball. And as you can probably tell, she's also in need of a bath, which is on the agenda for today, right next to cleaning up for Christmas, because <laughs> it's getting bad. <laughs> but anyway, so I hope you enjoyed uh, visiting with Lucy, and I hope you enjoyed visiting with me just here at the House of Blossoms Love. And thank you to all of you guys out there, um, my all of my subscribers, new subscribers, everyone that comments, love love reading all the comments, love getting to hear from you guys. So thank you so much for visiting me, and I hope to see you guys in another week. So bye, everybody.